Hope is a good thing. Maybe we're best things, and a good thing never ends. A misquote from a Shawshank Redemption, because I just said it wrong, but it's a movie which has influenced me. In these circumstances, I'm compelled to agree with what these words say. After a nerve-wracking tea party, I put part ways with everyone and return to a dorm. I relax in my room, but I will share with Rika Hanabishi, my amity partner. Then, just as I'd hoped, I'd have an amity-like conversation with Rika in our room. We, we talk about all sorts of things, like our hobbies and hometowns. And why do we have a triple bed? Also, this room is very badly laid out, I feel. I mean, I understand the, the three triple bunk, just in case you want a third person to stay there. I don't know why. But where we're standing right now is very, very narrow. There's a single cupboard for what looks like three people. That's not going to be enough for three people's clothes, is it? Well, this giant was cut out of the wall as well. As if there's a some cupboard to my right. We talk about all sorts of things, like our hobbies and hometowns. I'm able to talk about freezing up so it's a success. I'm elated that I can hold a casual conversation with a friend, even if she is just a friend by circumstance. So much so, when words from Shawshank Redemption come to mind, that's right, I could recall... Shirahane-san, have you finished unpacking? Not yet, I'll squeak. I was told that once we finish unpacking, we are supposed to get together in the dining room. She should probably hurry up. So, so yes, you, you're right. Words catch my throat. I go to take my things from my bag. Ah. Oh. Feel my cheeks flush as I watch her neatly fold her underwear in my bed before putting it away on the shelf. I guess she doesn't care because we're both girls. Perhaps because we're both the same sex, she folds her panties without any sign of embarrassment. Seeing this makes me blush. Where should put our personal clothes? Huh. We all say we aren't allowed to bring any clothes other than our uniforms. Oh, did they? Even though we've been able to talk just moments ago, I, I cannot respond properly now. Has Rika's noticed I'm being weird because he stops to, what she's doing and comes over. What's the matter? Something's bothering you. You can tell me. We're going to be roommates and partners from now on at all. Partners? That's right. We're amity partners, so I don't want you to hesitate to talk to me about anything. She looks at me with a gentle smile. She's right. We're going to live together from here on out. There's no way I can keep on being with Shai. I've made up my mind. Since we're roommates, about changing clothes and stuff. Oh, changing clothes? We're supposed to go into a dining hall and have a meal with everyone. You want to change clothes before that? No. Vayner might have shown my true colours. I feel my neck get hot again and I go silent. Um. She cocks her head and looks at me in confusion. Oh. I guess you should knock before entering. Yes, you should. We're living together, even if we are close. We have to mind our manners. We always stand before our open door, looking at us like a child who found a toy. What a frank response. Our class president has nerves of steel. This is an isolated world of girls. You won't want any rumours starting. What are you talking about? She points to a bed with a folded underwear and... Bend to my own hand. Rika, who just realised she's still holding her panties, is clearly dismayed, not just her cheeks, but her entire face turns crimson. It's not. Rika can be adorable as well. <laughs> you finally noticed. From where I came in, it just like you were chasing Shirahane around with your undies. No, Shohani san just seemed more about something so. Really? There's laughter in me or his eyes, and Rika looks at me with a serious face. Yes, really. I know my confirmation. 
Hey, me agree. We collect out a sigh of relief. Ah, do you suppose I'm standing? I'm going to be sorry for personally sharing a room with such strange interests. What are you talking about? It's a joke. We shouldn't be too limited just because all girls here. Right, she asked, smiling at me. I reply with a yes. Hearing it's just a joke, Rika starts to open her mouth, but she takes a glance at a panty still in her hand and hoys back to her bed. You better finish unpacking, it's almost time for dinner. Guess I ran into it at the bottom of the stairs. It was Sasaki, the old one, I think. Anyway, she was so chatty, I couldn't escape. Oh. A curt answer feels somehow off. Maybe she'll pack more quickly? No, more importantly. Look at her cheering Miyori. A moment ago she said personally be sharing a room with, didn't she? I stare at Miyori with an easy lump in my throat. Oh, what's the matter? Um. Shirahane san's in hurry too. This is late, I'll be obviously partly responsible. Ah, so that's how it is. Did I not notice it before? Beds? I'm sorry. Since I'm late, I'll take the middle one. Seems the present has already taken the low one already. That's right. Until now, I've been so nervous I didn't notice, but. This is a three person room. It took you that long to notice? Uh, is, it, is this your room too, Kosaka san? Hey, you trying to say you ought to go and live in the attic like the girl in Little Princess? The attic? Does the dormitory even have one? I'm joking. Me too, says Rika's decent voice. Is this for real? We've got a quote from the Shawshank Redemption once again. And I sit down on the floor in confusion. Could it, could it be? Shirahane-san? Has Kosaka done something wrong? No, it's, it's probably a weird question, but... I'll take another breath. Will you be living in this room too, Kosaka-san? I ask. Um... Oh, um, I see, um... Well, do look more astonished than anything of a question? But, but... But my amity partner is not a beauty town. I thought that we were supposed to live with our amity partners. Does this mean... Ah. I'm not sure, but she misunderstood something or wasn't listening. Not listening. I think back to the amity selection at the lecture hall. The teacher in charge of the selection committee said Rika Hanabishi was my amity partner. And Shirahane said, I think you misunderstood. There are three people per amity group. At the end, they announced their names. They said that. Groups of three would have more of a sense of community than groups of two. So that's why we're changing it from this year. I can't stuck to the word partner in Kate and two people. We heard Rika's name from a selection, selection committee. The very name I'd hoped for. I guess I didn't hear it. Oh, you're so nervous and missed it. That must be it. Hey, that, you're so happy that Hanabiti's name would come up. We didn't even hear my name. Hey! I guess it's right on a mark, and I blush when I look down. Miyoi smiles surreptitiously. Oh, Rika's white skin turns red and redder. Are you always my amity partner too? First I get to be partners with Rika, and now Mayori. This is wonderful. But... Oh, what shall I say? Well, it's true I'm happy she's my amity partner. It's not quite as Mayori says. A partner I'll live with from here on out. Get awkward. I'm going to resolve misunderstandings. Oh, you're going quiet. Does that mean I was white with a mark? Hey, Shirohane, son, is a grown woman. She's just shocked. Hear the words over my head as I stare at my nails, trying to escape reality. But notice my handkerchief has fallen to the floor, and I go to pick it up. Mm. 
Should I say that it was because I was so nervous that I didn't hear it? Um, that's not a handkerchief. I can tell by the way it's cropped. That's not a handkerchief. That's what Ricky had said. I right, respect him, but beating on my forehead with a handkerchief in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? It's like a bolt from a blue. What a nod saying, she says. Looks once again to where Mayo is pointing. He turns her eyes to me and suddenly freezes. Huh? Huh? Shirahane san, but that's. Her skin turns it's even redder when she points. Like an arrow. My handkerchief. My handkerchief, it's well. Excuse me, but do you think I can have those back? Thinking my hand turns out to, turns out to be what Riku had been folding on a bed. You're yeah, after a great start, Shirohane san. I can hear her chuckling. I. I stand here clutching her panties, wondering what I should do. My brown throws, brain froze like my, my body. I look up at the indigo evening sky, peeking, peeking in through a window. What do I think of her? I think of a queen. A beautiful queen, spoiled beyond repair. Proud and aloof. With no qualms about hurting the feelings of others. But as a watcher, Mark chase girls to a gallows. And play their hearts to bloody ribbons. I cannot help but feel she's waiting for her turn to come. This is the story of my encounter with a queen. Chapter 2 One Step, Sweet Step. It's been one week since she entered the ceremony. In these seven days, I've done morning prayer, taken the academy's unique classes such as Bible study, and even learned how to take care of the vegetables we eat. Finally, getting used to this lifestyle change. I'm still not used to this. After morning prayer and breakfast, I arrive at the classroom before morning assembly, but. Yes. Tha yes, that's right. There she is, surrounded by her classmates as if she's teaching a class. Ever since the tea party on the day of the entrance ceremony, Rika Hanabishi, one of my amity partners, has come to be seen as a true leader by her classmates. She's been non-stop surrounded by people since that day. You know what, I think the entire amity group there it's going to be probably the most popular amity group of a thing. You've got the absolute beauty of his main character, Suo. You've got Hanabishi, who is easily the leader, the mature older sister people want. Then you've got the boyish, uh, handsome one. This one I can't get used to. I see her getting on better with other classmates than with me, her amity partner. It's not that I'm jealous, I just wonder how she talks to people so naturally. Why is she so beautiful? Of course people want to talk to her. I gaze at Riku, smiling at several of our classmates. I'm thinking about the qualities that make her popular. I don't have to think hard to come up with the three elements Riku has that attract people to her. Wisdom, empathy, sweetness. I have none of these things. 
I arrive at my seat and let out a small sigh as I pretend to read a novel I've bought. I have no confidence and I can't even talk to anyone. <sighs> oh, morning, Sua chan. What is sign? It's only morning. You got girl troubles? Oh, oh, good, good morning, Ichigo san. You're looking all cool again today, that melancholy face. You're definitely a pretty summer class. <sighs> As usual, I gloss over a flattery with a vague smile. There's something I want to ask. Hey, Ichigo san. So for today's Bible class. Oh, sorry. Just a moment. Ichigo says that someone walks in late. Oh, good morning. Ah, oh, you're full of energy this morning. You're talking a little quiet, are you hurting my ears? Just over to my other amity partner, Mayure. Well, I can see I talked to him yesterday. We got cut off because I had bedtime. All the classmates behind it to go gather around Mayure out of curiosity. She begins talking about things I do not understand. So she'll just go over one to the side and last. Ah, gladiator. Well, as long as it's in my boot type. It's good for early spring. Gladiator? I put my ears up wondering if they're talking about one of the greatest movies in history, but... She said boots. I sit there cocking my head with more classmates go around Mayori, chatting away pleasantly. Even more classmates surrounding Rika, the class president. It's the same with Yuri san as it is with Rika san. She's also got wisdom, empathy, and sweetness. It's obvious why she's popular. There's one more thing which makes her pop more popular than Rika. A fourth woman, vitality. She's good looking and caring. That alone is enough to draw people in, but despite her delicate build, Miyori seems to be bursting of energy. The energetic, snappy way she talks is pleasant to listen to. She doesn't usually smile that much. But it's brightening to a room when she does. Like a ray of sunshine on a spring day. Can't help but think that in terms of seasons. That sunlight doesn't shine on me. It hurts when she barely talks to me. Even where we share a room. I. Good morning, Suo chan. Think my name, I turn around. Ah, another early start, right? Ringo stretches his arms a little. Let's have a big yawn. I raise another I'm holding a bit and say good morning back. Susan, everyone, I'm so energetic in the morning. It's good to be young. I envy them. I guess. Struggling to respond, I simply nod. Oh, right. So for Bible class. Start leading to a question I'd failed to ask it to go. That book. Book? But my words don't meet you as he stares at a novel. I put a book cover on it, so she shouldn't be able to see the title. So I wonder if a book cover holds some interest for her when... Yes, yes. I almost forgot. She must have some wedges for a bag. I suppose it goes back to Richan. Tatters towards Rico, still leading a study group. My question's left dangling. I look at Miyori chattering away, and Riku looks serious, that smiles. I'm so lonely.